This lesson 14, I consider it very uh, interesting and also important for all of us. Now, as I review the Bible in this Moses stories, it amazes me that Moses, uh, under his leadership, he he was he was failing in observing uh, the forever ordinance. Such a famous man. Such a godly man, okay? Very, uh, I would say, a holy man who even met Jesus face by face, okay? Such a man who received the Ten Commandments, okay? In a Bible, uh, you know, entire Bible story, Moses is one of the key godly man. But we are wondering why such a godly man who did not observe such a crucial ordinance, the Passover, okay, annually, eternally, at least for 40 years of his wilderness life, okay, he should... <clears throat> He should observe at least 40 times okay, before his death. Right? But, you see, the Bible revealed here, Moses only kept the ordinance for only two times. Only two times. It's very questionable. <clears throat> Only two times. How do I know? I have searched Bible. I have discovered only two events recorded in the Bible. Okay? Here, first year of deliverance from the slavery, which is we have studied that. Exodus 12 story. That's the first year. <clears throat> first Passover, first Passover observances recorded. Now, the one year after, one year after, which is second year, uh, according to Numbers chapter 9, verses 1 and 5, Moses recorded that they, Israelites, observed the Passover. That is the second year of their deliverance. Year 1445. Second year. Then, there was no story thereafter. We will study next time, maybe next week, a Joshua, when he took over the leadership, okay, he observed the Passover. But prior to that time, no record of that observance recorded in the Bible. Now, it's very significant. Okay? That tells us that those we so-called Christians who have been saved, like in the, we, I'm saying, I'm applying to this principle to Christians here. We Christians <clears throat> who have been saved will, would not be faithful to this requirement. Okay. In other words, in the, it, it's kind of uh, the uh, type or shadow or examples of 
the upcoming New Testament Christians behavior it's been predicted that are you with me yeah it shows us that it shows from the Israelites history upcoming New Testament Christians will do the same they will not observe the Passover. What do you mean by the Passover? What's inside of the Passover message? What's the message hidden inside of the Passover? That's the Christology, especially doctrine, doctrine of what? Salvation. Right? About Jesus' physical death. And, and salvation story hidden inside of the Passover. See, in the Passover, the requirement is what? Food, that is the meat and unleavened bread, that symbolizes what? The Word of God. Right? Word of God. And also, bitter herb symbolizes the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, we Christians, in New Testament Christians, will be very much in lacking, lacking in this kind of a training. In other words, that Christians who have been saved will not study the word of God that much. They will not study the power of the Holy Spirit and power of the blood of Jesus Christ. They just uh, enjoy hearing what those are, but not much deep inside what that means. So called is so called is infant Christians lifestyle, baby Christians lifestyle. So Israelites here who've been saved, okay, who will be practicing their lives, not observing that key message of the Passover. So they will not know much about the meaning of the Passover. Okay? Now, why Bible showed us that? Now, let me just briefly uh, tell you why. Because these people, Christians, so now here in Israelites who were delivered, who have been delivered, okay, they would not value that their deliverance from slavery. You will see they complain. In the wilderness, they complain, Moses, let us go back because we are missing, we are missing the food and drinks, okay, old. Egyptian lifestyle. So why you put us into that wilderness here? Instead of showing appreciation, okay, they have complained. That would be the same principle applied to New Testament Christians, baby Christians. Here, no appreciation they don't see any value there. No precious. Jesus is precious. His blood is precious. They don't see much about it. And they took it for granted. You know that meaning, took it for granted? Okay. And no, not much attention to the gift, free gift. They have treated it very lightly, not seriously. 
they often forget their deliverance. That's why they complain. Okay? With that in your mind, please read the story of Exodus and Numbers, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy. Okay? With that background inside. Okay? Now, why? Because I would say that is the human nature. That is the human nature. We, we, we human, we creatures, okay? We creatures, human, when we receive these valuable gifts at a free of charge, free, okay, with no my effort, no hard work, no sacrifice, no agony, no payment, then it is a human tendency that they would not appreciate it so much. They, they would not see the value so much. So I have given you three examples here. When you teach this, you always tell the examples. Air for our breathing. Very valuable. A physical breathing. Physical life. If we don't breathe, three minutes, we will die. But we don't see that high value of the air because it's been given free. No wonder why we humans polluting airs. Okay, you put down the pollution because we don't see that value much. We don't appreciate it much. Okay? Second is air. Oxygen. In the same way. You see? Oxygen here. Second is water. You see water pollution all over the world today. And thirdly, light. Sunlight. You know sunlight, how important, how valuable the sunlight. Without the good sunlight, no plant. It, we, we all will all we die. So we now, because of the uh, industry, bad air, damaging sunlight. Now, here, so I have given you three examples of free gift given to us by God. Okay? Now, as a result, is the important part. As a result, since we have, we have been given freely the valuable gift, okay, gospel of Jesus Christ, the Passover meal means the gospel of Jesus Christ. Then we will often forget who is the giver? We, we would often forget who is the giver of eternal life? Jesus. Okay? Not only that, what are the giver's hearts? What are giver's mind? Okay? We often Not much appreciation. We often forget the why and who is the giver. And what is the objective? Okay. What is what is purpose? Why he gave this one to us? We often forget that we will not pay much attention to that. Okay. We just take it granted. 
That's the problem here. Then, of course, we would forget givers' ordinances and givers' commission and givers' commandment. All this because of uh, we as a human, since we have received that crucial gift from God, it is a human nature. We would not see that gift precious. Now, you know, the salvation should not be available upon our right good works. Salvation, Jesus would not give us a salvation out of our good behavior. So Jesus should give us the salvation gift at a free of charge. Why? In Isaiah 64, 6 says, human good work, human behavior would be a dirty rack in the sight of God. Dirty rack. You know what that means? Okay. So, in the in the in the in the eyesight of God, human good behavior is a dirty, smelly rack. Therefore, we cannot be saved by our good behavior. So in order to be saved, God, okay, he has to give us that eternal life free. The problem is, we as a human, when we receive it free, that exodus was a free gift out of that slavery bondage. Okay? At the same time, our salvation is free. When it comes to free, then we have this problem here. We will not appreciate it much. We will not value it much. Okay? And we will not pay attention to who is the giver. Who is the, what is the giver's heart? That's a human problem. Okay, that's the uh, dilemma. Okay, so now, out of this history of Israelites, we can we can see that dilemma between God and God's children. Okay, now with that in your mind, always. Apply this to your daily ministries. So don't expect much from your congregations. Okay? All of them are uh, mature enough to obey God's commission and commandment. Most of them are infant and childish Christians. Not appreciating much the salvation gift. I will tell you more about this okay, in the next lecture, lecture 15. Is it interesting? Okay, good. May God bless you. Amen.